could not load or find or could not find or load main class so if this is the error you are getting in java compilation and execution of the code or class this video is going to help you fix this issue basically uh, this is happening due to you know jre communication error so jr is not able to understand where is that class that you want to run so let's go ahead and fix it so this can be fixed in very simple way and that is going to be setting up the java home path and setting up the system variable path for jdk so i've got jdk 14 let's go ahead and have a look at here uh it's open jdk so i've got 14 and then i've got java c uh, compiler i also got j shell running over here so everything is working okay so java uh, jdk jre everything is working here now let's go ahead and oops what's happening okay so here let's go ahead and fix this error so i was getting this error i i kind of wasted my two hours so let's go ahead and help you people so that you don't waste your time so here we are now you can see i've got in java java c and j, j shell everything is running so that means it's set up properly okay but i was still getting this error that error could not find or load main class okay and that was also sometimes between the lines caused by java lang non class def what is found error so let's go ahead and fix it so what do you need to do here we need to locate where is the java jdk installed so in most of the cases if it's a 64-bit operating system you will get it here otherwise if it's 32-bit you will get under this folder so this is my 64-bit go ahead and go to this this pc on microsoft windows 10 local disk program files and java then java jdk and uh, this is the location that we need so go ahead and copy this so this is bin location for your jdk now go ahead and close it then go to uh, menu and type variable and you'll get this first option edit the system uh, environment variable click on it and then go to here environment variables click on it now there are a few things that you need to do here so for me personally work everything when i put here under system variables okay on your system it may work like it work on mine but you can in case if it doesn't work just try to do something here here as well and this should work okay so let's go ahead and fix this error so first thing we need to define the path for jdk so go ahead and select path under system variable and hit edit this is on windows 10 okay and you can see i've already defined this jdk path so all you have to do once you are under edit environment variable click new and paste that bin folder location and hit ok okay since i already have if i go ahead and do that I've got two of them so I need to delete one so delete it okay then the next thing we have to do that works for me is basically create a Java home uh, variable so environment variable so go ahead and click on new you can see I already have created so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete it okay so now let's go ahead and okay so this may be done here as well it may work on windows 7 but it didn't work here on windows 10 okay so let's go ahead and try the system variables and then click a new button here and here you have to type as it is so type java home and just paste this okay jdk folder location 
you can also go ahead and click browse directory browse file and choose the same jdk location that you want to specify for java home variable now go ahead and hit ok and then you are done okay you are done there's one more thing people okay so that's all work for me but there's one more thing people are trying to fix this error with is setting up class path and that never worked for me so what do you have to do simply so let me show you what you have to do simply go ahead and click new and same thing will appear so here you have to type class path like i have here and then give it a path so this time you will go to jdk and lib then slash and then asterisk dot jr j a r and then i hit ok but if i go ahead and delete it it still works for me okay so once it worked on my system it never failed even after deleting the java home variable so let's go ahead and fix it so now let me go ahead and run it on my system so i'm going to launch uh, okay so i'm going to launch within the same directory and going to delete all the j java classes uh, so simplest thing i can do is here so i've got java classes here you can see okay done so now let's go ahead and create Let's go ahead and compile. So Java C hello world. This worked. I'm going to simply run it. Let's go ahead and if it runs. So this has already created the Java hello world class. Now let's go ahead and run it. So it's working. Now let's go ahead and try something like the other file compilation. So so here we are and this is also done so let's go ahead and run this class and this should also work so it's already working okay so that's it for this video please let me know if this helped you if it didn't please also let me know thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please leave in the comment section below i will try to answer it asap thank you so much one more thing that a lot of people forget to do just don't forget to check your code okay so make sure everything is in place thank you so much again and have a good day